Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of a new Trekkie. My five year mission to search out Star Trek media, to seek out our fans and merchandise, to boldly go where no fan has gone before. Greetings and salutations. I you caught me at a time when I'm trying to have a little bit of late night dinner. In this case, we're not watching two episodes of Star Trek Enterprise episodes Awakening. Thought we Awakenings! Peter, I'm not sure. Awakening and Kura Shara. And well, let's go ahead and look at the episode Awakening first. Oh, that's Awakenings! You're gonna hurt him if Awakenings! You I'm gonna keep using doing it. Um, so yeah. What happened in this episode? Well, this was a continuation of the previous episode, which was the Forge, and also um another another episode before that. Yeah, uh, this is part. Um, this is the gate arc story. Um. What actually happened in this episode? One of this episode, the Vulcan government seeks to make the government, the Enterprise, leave orbit so they can attack a renegade leader of Vulcans and efforts, the long-standing enemy of Vulcans, the Andorians. Meanwhile, Captain Jonathan Archer and Commander Tabol have been captured by the Cyrenites, and it is discovered that Archer has the Katar of Surak. He has visions which lead him to find an ancient Vulcan artifact called the Kura Shah. As the group come under attack from the Vulcans. I gotta say, I can't. I'm me saying that word, I gotta say again. But sometimes that word gets to me. You know, just repeating things over and over again. Uh, I kind of enjoyed this. Um, yeah, I, I kind of like the fact that while, um, you know, uh, Archer, I just had to say, I had to pull. Archer and T'Pol, whenever they're on, like, you know, the planet, I kind of like the fact that Tucker is in charge of Enterprise, so he's having to basically say, here's what we're going to do, we're going to try to find the Endoians, because we're going to have them help us out, and the ambassador says, okay, I'm good at that plan, let's go get the Endoians. We can trigger a malfunction in this satellite's imaging node. It'll take six minutes for the central processor to correct the error. That should be enough time to slip through the net. Don't they wonder what caused the glitch? Errors occur frequently near the forge. It shouldn't raise suspicion. And I gotta say, um, like, you know, like, at first, like, you know, when, like, they're t Archer and Paul, whenever they're, you know, trying to figure, like, where is the Cernites? And they meet up with to pow and all and her, and she goes like she would basically just like say i don't know if i trust you and then she goes like say and does the mind meld and all that and goes like say hmm yes he does he has the cur he, he ba she basically says okay yeah he's the one we need to figure out what he has and all that and i gotta say i kind of fought everyone in this episode did a great job when it comes to the acting of it all. I thought it was pretty good. I also think the act, the um ambassador, the not uh administrator Voss was, Voss, he did a great job in the fact that as the episode continues going, he slow like it's not like he becomes unhinged, but he slowly starts to show his true colors. Which would eventually lead into the next episode as well. And I will be honest, at times, it, it, one thing that made me think about this episode it might be this episode or the next episode. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I will say that the, like, you know, I kind of like the set design of it all. 
like when they're on when with all the moments with Archer and to Paul, whenever like you know like hey, like almost like a Dune like plant you know with the forge and all that stuff. I kind of like the set design, even though it's mostly just a rock cave system kind of deal, which was you know kind of a, d a thing that was always a very common you know set in the original run of you know TOS which which kind of makes sense in the fact that some of these characters would become you know characters that would appear in the in TOS like you know we didn't really know that they would um <clears throat> one thing that makes me think though is that you know the idea of the Vulcan mind mill this you know like when like the first few episodes like previous episodes they've been saying this is the first time we've mind meld the human and all that and this makes me wonder what was the first recording of a uh, mind meld with a never Vulcan like what was like was it like in you no know, the idea of it was just so taboo even between Vulcans and so as a blasphemer! I don't know. But, I kind of enjoyed this episode. Uh, I did think, like, you know, like, the fetch quest, or, like, you know, here's what we need to do. Okay, we need to go on a fetch quest, which was, you know, the uh, archers, kind of. So, let's look, get the next episode, which is Ker Shaw. I'm probably butchering that, I apologize. Um, in this episode, Enterprise averts a war and is caught in a crossfire between Vulcan and Dorian starships. Meanwhile, Archer, T'Pol, and T'Pol aim to take the Kershaw to the Vulcan capital and use it to build a mission for lost plots to the rest of the Vulcan High Command. So, um, everyone's favorite, um, you know, Star Trek actor, Jeffrey Combs, returns again to play Commander Shar. Shran? You have a poor choice of friends. An invasion? That's correct. We keep a very close eye on your fleet. We would know if the High Command were preparing to attack. Vlas has been assembling ships near Regulus, beyond the range of your listening stations. Sorry. And, as always, my man Jeffrey Combs, he does a great job. He is all, whenever he is in the show, I feel like, say, Yes. It's almost like suddenly, like, I feel like Jeffrey Combs in Star Trek, he is always sort of like, um, like having, um, it's almost like having a, a the good luck charm, like having Bruce Campbell in a film. I am king. Hail to the king, baby. Your episode or your show is always going to be awesome. Or whatever you're doing. A minute, hungry for the dinner. And, um, but I will say this one thing that just kind of made me think, eh, was like, was when Archer and is having to end, everyone is trying to fight against the Syrianites, or like the Vulcans that are trying to say, no, you shall not take this thing. Your rats was wings. I thought, okay, the uh, the fight sequence, Clark V, was not the greatest. I thought, and maybe they, maybe they put, maybe the um, fight choreographer thought they said, well, well, this was like this is near the end of the episode, so you know we have a big space battle, so you don't need to make it like a you know over the top. So yeah. I do love the fact that the Andorians continuously show up in this show. I kind of like the Andorians. I would just like to see more of them. I kind of like them as an alien race in Star Trek. Uh, and I do kind of think the actor who plays administrator of a loss, Robert Foxworth, he does a wonderful job. He just get he just slowly, slowly, and I do mean slowly, goes unhinged 
and see me less say, hmm, no, you, you're not believing my nonsense anymore. Oh, you're, you're not. It's like, and then he just goes like, say, hmm, you will not leave this place. Yes. No. Go. And it just gets, it just goes so good. And especially when they bring the artifact to them and he just goes like, say, you shall not. This thing is not, it's not true. It's all fantasy. And. Eventually, he just gets taken away and stripped of his power, and but we have a great, um, in, will be a cliffhanger, which is revealed. Like, say, one of the Vulcans that were supposedly involved helping him was actually a Romulan. So we get the introduction of the Romulan and beginning of the what would be the fight between. The Romulus and the, or the unification of Romulus and Vulcans. You know, like say, like them trying to fight together or something like that. But overall, I thought this episode was good when it was, you know, the one thing it also does is it help, um, T'Pol gets out of her marriage as well. I do think the moment where her mother is, um, gets, sadly gets, um, uh, killed in the previous episode it was fairly done pretty well um but at the same time i do think that i don't know i i thought it was good but at the same time i don't know if i feel as much of a connection i don't know overall not bad episodes see you next time